yet. Yeah, I figured. She just lay down. It, the little white's out. But with her, how she doesn't lay down and stay down, I don't want to just like bombard in. You know, I want to like let her commit to laying down and pushing. But the feet are out. Feet aren't out. Like the the little bubble. Like the little bubbles out. All right. <sighs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm like a little rattled going into this one after cool, like... Oh, for I'm sure. I'm trying to stay really calm. I think everybody is. What? I gotta reestablish my bun before we go in here. And everyone makes fun of me because I have my sunglasses on. They keep my little tendrils from getting in my hair. And if I wear a headband, it slips off all the time. This is like the only surefire way, okay? I just don't make fun of me. Nope. 
Don't move her one bit. Okay. That baby was huge. That is a big baby. That baby was huge. Okay. The umbilical cord already broke. When the fall. Walk her forward just a couple steps. And then turn her around. And bring her over to her baby. Yeah, mama. Take on your baby, honey. Yep. Oh, wow. That was quick. That was fast. Mama. Look at you. Hi. You've got no white on you, do you? She's already lip curling. She's like, okay, I'm here. I'm ready. Let's do it. She's so dark. Oh my god. She looks just like her daddy. Minus he has a he has a um, star. Oh mama, look at that. Oh mama, look at those kisses. That's some kind of special right there, Trudy. Brody. I've got to give you a bath. Yeah. Like that. Get her, Trudy. You're about to witness, I mean, you witnessed it kind of with Molly, but Maggie was like really not easy to deal with that night. You're about to witness how quick and easy girls are. <laughs> you know what, I believe in you. I believe that the next time you're gonna get those legs underneath you and it's gonna be over. It's gonna be done for. You did so good, Mama. You did so good. You did so good. She already talking back to you. Did you see that? Oh. Oh, we were so close. Mama, you did so good not stepping on her. Still has quite a bit left in her. So, I think some people are gonna get mad at me for helping her on that one, but it's it's a situation where it's like, I know my mare. I've seen her past two births. She's sat on their faces both times where we had to get her up off of the baby's head to then like help her and she kept wanting to have it standing. So, with this one, I noticed first off that there was like a foot of her legs sticking out. That was just one leg, which is not normal. And 
she was not like, like every time she pushed, like nothing was happening. And so I was like, okay, well, let, let me just like pull the one foot, right? Well, I pulled the one foot kind of, but it kept retracting back in. Like it must've been kind of stuck underneath something. And so she wouldn't stay still enough for me to keep pressure and just keep pulling, not pulling. We like to just keep pressure so that when they push, we can, we keep that um, progress and they don't retract back in. And so in order for me to keep that pressure, she needs to stay in the same position or somewhat the same position. And so she just kept trying to sit and rock back. Like, I think that's her way of trying to like get rid of the pain. I don't know what she does. And I made the decision that it would be the best way to keep her in the same position if we just stood her up and then Jonathan was able to hold her and I was able to hold that consistent pressure. And once we started, this baby's huge, man. Like, oh, she's up. Oh, she's almost up. This baby's huge. And like, I, I, you know, I, I don't like to say she wouldn't be able to have it because I don't know. She might've wore herself out and then she wouldn't be sitting here eating and loving on her baby afterwards. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, we don't go in there yanking the baby out. We just hold pressure and help the mama so that she doesn't spend three times as long during birth if she doesn't have to. And there's been two mares this year that have not needed help and they've just had it by themselves, you know? Uh, but with Trudy, knowing her history, knowing like this baby was is huge now, I'm like glad I helped her because it was just freaking huge. Um, and now we're just waiting on her to get up. As soon as, Trudy was so alert and up, you know, the last, like happy when we had Howie, we had to basically dry him off ourselves and all those, and take him over to her because she's a maid and she was tired. She didn't know what was happening. And that's kind of normal, honestly. But with Trudy, she knows what's up. This is her third baby. Um, she was standing up, she's alert, she's not exhausted. And so we, you know, got her over to her baby. Oh, are we up? Oh, we're up. Oh, we're up y'all. We are up on our four legs. We had to use the wall for help. And of course we're letting mama block us, but we're up. But ever since then, we haven't used towels. We haven't gotten in there and like messed with her. I grabbed the placenta, you know. Um, but we've let, we've let Trudy do her thing, you know, after the baby was out and um, she, she looks good. So we are waiting for her to pass her placenta. Once that baby's more stable on her legs, I am gonna go clean her navel. And then hopefully she eats. Honestly, girls, any horse breeder will agree with me. The little fillies, they are so much easier to get to nurse. And so I'm hoping she follows suit. And once she nurses and we see her pass that meconium, which is that first poop, We'll give her an enema. Maybe we'll do the enema first. Sometimes that helps the meconium come out. We'll see how fast she does it. Um, and then sometimes we have to do two later on in the day, we'll see. But I like to clean their, their navels at least twice. Um, and then after that, we will, after like mama has passed her placenta, we've cleaned her navel, given her the enema, passed the meconium. After those are checked off and mama and baby look comfortable, we'll clean up their stall just a little bit and leave them alone for like a long time until the vet can come out. Um, and he's already set to come out to check some mares for ovulation this afternoon. So we'll just knock it all out at once, have him check on the baby, have him see if someone's pregnant or ovulated and actually do a heartbeat check on Arlene and it'll just be a whole banger of a day. So look at that. Oh, look at that. She's up for three seconds. She's trying to nurse. Oh, see, little, if she was a little cold, she would be up in the front armpit right now, not knowing what to do. And that's a fact. Look at you, girlfriend. You got to squat down everything. I hope Mama's okay with me. I think she will. Trudy. I don't want to put myself in between her and a wall here, though. 
<laughs> I feel like you've been on it though. You know what the deal is. Though. Hi, Mama. Can you see your baby? For just a minute. She's not gonna like us when we do this. You're gonna wanna get back down. Okay. Can we lay down? alone for now. Be alone. We got those good things. You don't know how to use those things yet, do you? You're going to get the wrap. Got to that point of needing a little oxytocin help with our placenta. That's okay. It happens. Good girl. All right. You feel so good and smooth. Also, that baby nursing is going to help her, but see, it's kind of an illusion too, because like it looks like she doesn't have that much hanging out of her, but so much of it tore. So, She's just, it's been a little bit and retained placenta can be big issues. Okay, we're taking our first nap and I wish I had gotten to lay down on camera because it was very dramatic. It was quite the flop. So, we're sitting here waiting for her to pass the placenta. I did give her a little oxytocin because we would gotten almost to the two hour mark without her making any progress. Um, little baby girl is taking her first little nap i wish we had seen the flop her flopping down was hilarious but all of baby girl's milestones have been met she has eaten a lot she has passed her meconium we have cleaned her navel we have given her an enema all those things are good so as soon as mama drops that placenta we are off to bed and then we will do a little vet visit midday and that will be in another video with checking the ovulation and the heartbeat and all that stuff of the other mares. So I needed that. I, I just, what a night. Thank you, Trudy. That was amazing. I'll see y'all in the next one.